Om Shanti. Welcome to 23rd of December's Holy Blessing. How to overcome a situation in a life with the help of Gyan and Yoga. And that's what we're going to learn over here. God says, may you be a Mahavir, someone who is victorious, who is able to pass in every adverse situation in a second. We can decide in one second what to do, what to think, what to speak and how to act. With the powers of knowledge and yoga, connection with God and the wisdom which he is giving us. A Mahavir means to be a constant light and might house. Knowledge is light. That's what we understand. Wisdom is light and yoga is might. That means when you remember the creator, along with the knowledge, you're becoming powerful. Those who are full of these powers are able to pass in every adverse situation in a second. That means I'm constantly in connection with the creator as a soul and I'm revising all that he has taught me in the day, spiritual knowledge. And a situation comes in front of me, I'm in connection with him, I'm going to be a powerful being and I'm going to use the wisdom to overcome any situation. So God says, if you develop the sanskar of not passing at the right time, that sanskar will then not allow you to pass fully in the final moments. So if you develop a sanskar of or a habit of always having a second attempt or third attempt or a four attempt at things, then God says, then, then you'll develop a habit of always not being able to pass in the first instant. And then in the final moments, if you don't have the practice of passing your different, different situations, whether the situation is bringing about ego in you or whether that situation or a person is bringing about anger within you and you're not able to pass it, that means you're not able to overcome the anger or the greed or the jealousy or uh, hatred in you, then in the final moments, it's going to be very difficult to overcome them. Those who pass fully at the right time are said to have passed with honors. Even Dharma Raj honors her souls. Dharma and Raj. Was I, was I religious? Religious means was I using peace, love, happiness, bliss, power and divine knowledge and purity to have a complete control over my five senses through those Peaceful means, happy means, loveful means, kind means, powerful, pure means. Or was I using the opposite of that? That means was I dharmic at the same time? I was using that dharmic sanskars or habits to have control over my five senses. Or were my eyes seeing something which was not to be seen? Hearing something which is not to be heard? And speaking things which are not supposed to be spoken about? Or anything evil? So... If I have that control, then I am someone who is not going to be dishonored by the Dharmaraj, but who is going to be honored by the Dharmaraj. And that means I am going to pass with honors. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to become a Mahavir who passes with honors in the eyes of God in this exam of life. Om Shanti.